everybody look at this they cut the corn a little early uh, I just got my first pretty good signal this actually was ringing up a 19 so I'm thinking it'll probably be Indian let's find out what it is oh yeah it's at 1902 beautiful all right, I got a couple other little things I'll show you later, but uh, not a bad start. I got another 1920 signal. I haven't touched it yet or even looked at it, but I know it's a coin. Question is, what kind of coin is it gonna be? Oh, oh that's okay. Is that a 1909? Ooh. You want to look for the VDB at the bottom. I don't know. I'll have to clean up when I get home. Doesn't look like there's a mint mark on it, so it's not going to be the one anyway. Cool. There's definitely stuff out here, so keep poking around. Well, a few steps later, another coin. I just feel like it's gonna be a wheat though. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, this thing's gonna be wasted. I don't know, might be able to get a date, but it's not looking great. Hey everybody, sorry I had to cut out early, um, but I'm back a few days later, about four, um, and I finally got another signal. And some people might say, oh, that's a piece of junk, but guess what? This is part of a drawer pull. This piece would have went into the dresser or whatever, and then this side would have accepted part of whatever handle mechanism was there pretty cool let's keep moving well I was getting a pretty good beep so I dug this thing up I don't know something <laughs> let's keep moving all right you guys gotta listen to this Oh man, oh man, that could be something amazing. Let's find out. Okay, so I don't know what the heck I have. I just kind of got a little peek at it. Sitting like that. I flip it out, I see this. What in the world? There's a screw in there flathead so it's not going to be that old oh, what the heck is this hmm. <sighs> okay whatever all right so i was getting a really irony signal with like a little bit of a 14 in there so I decided to dig it, flipped the plug, went straight to iron, but I had it open, so I checked it out, of course. And I got this old buckle. I'm guessing this piece, this roller was brass, which is probably what was giving me the little bit of hope there with that signal, but this is nice. Well, I was getting a solid iron signal. It was like a negative four or five, but I'm curious. I just pulled this out. 
I don't know. Does that look like a part of a latch to a treasure chest? <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> it's definitely some old uh, hand forged latch of some kind. Um, not sure on the edge of this, but if you've seen something like this before, let me know. I'd love to know what this came from. All right, everybody, this is going to be the last spot I take you for this video because I just need to get this thing out. Uh, it's tough lately with permissions being either dry from lack of rain. I don't want to kill the grass or corn not being cut, but I got a cornfield that got cut a little early and I just found a piece of a shoe buckle frame. It's got some fancy on it. Too bad it's not whole, but. I'll take that all day long. Hopefully I can find a few more little things here and there today. I'll get back with you. Not a terribly exciting find, as I find them often, but I still love them. And uh, it's right here. This is a broken piece of stem from a clay pipe. The date range on these is pretty wide. I mean, these go back pretty far. I know you can date them sometimes, I think, by the diameter of that hole, maybe. I forget, but it's probably based on whatever else I found, mid-1700s to, I don't know, into the 1800s. Throw it in the old pouch. Slow morning. Well, unless uh, I find something crazy, this is gonna be it, I'm wrapping it up. That's it. I just got, I believe, a little tiny pewter button of some kind. Looks like there's a little, little flower design type thing on there, some dots. But I'm also not sure, cause that doesn't quite look like a shank, but. I don't know. It's tough. I'm going with button. I don't even care. It's probably a button anyway. Uh, Alright, everybody. See you uh, sometime in the near future. Hopefully. <laughs>